Good morning, I just left the gym at five o'clock. I woke up this morning, two days in a row, um, because it's all about, I'm sorry it's so repetitive, but it's like I'm trying to ingrain it in my own brain. It's all about just doing these things that I don't want to do or that push myself, um, that is giving, gonna give me that feeling I'm really looking for, that true, like, feel good about myself. That's what I've really been looking for, that true, you know, self-love from the inside out. I know that's so cheesy, but it's true. Um, so that's what it is. And my, the key for me, the reason why I always end up getting the weight back is because I get used to it. I get used to getting up at five in the morning and it's like, I want to get up at five in the morning, but then I don't find something else to do that I don't want to do that challenges me. And you know, the benefit is I'm picking things that challenge me that contribute to my goal of wanting to lose weight and get fit and it feels so good to kind of allow myself to say I want to get fit I want to wear a crop top because I kind of used to be used to think like no it's I decided that I'm probably not going to upload like I recorded all this year since New Year's resolution pretty much or, and throughout the year I recorded except for around the wedding part and oh, let me turn this off because that's probably noisy um, but I don't think I'm even going to upload those. If you guys want to see them, let me know. But it's, it's literally me just trying to like figure everything out and trying to get back to it and not, you know, not making any progress on the scale, but just trying to figure everything out. And, um, but now I feel like this is it. Like, um, I wish I'd have, I wish I would have figured all of this out in my twenties. And cause I think, I really think this is it. I think this is going to be it for me for the rest of my life as long as I, I remember these things and I you know there's gonna be times where I kind of forget but as long as I have my you know guiding light like always pick something to challenge myself and this is one of my epiphanies while I was in the gym it's something that I've I've said before even but it's just everything's just clicking right now so um now I am getting like I'm working hard in the gym again, get making myself do things I don't want to do, like challenging myself, getting out of my comfort, or making myself get out of my comfort zone, because I know the actual act of getting out of my comfort zone, of doing something that I don't want to do, just one thing, is going to give me what I'm actually looking for. I thought I was looking for the body, but I'm actually looking for just that feeling of fulfillment and self, not that I don't love myself, but like, you know, just that that full cup feeling, like not like everything's perfect because not everything's going to be perfect, but you know, just that really truly feeling good about about myself. Um, so now that I have that, um, while I was in the gym, I was thinking, I realized like this is the stuff that is making me feel good, doing the stuff that I don't want to do, and it dawned on me that that's why it was so hard for me to stop eating and to stop choosing um, calorie dense foods like pizza and fries because I wasn't challenging myself, but I think it's kind of like human nature. We need, like, we have to have a challenge. As a matter of fact, Joe Rogan said this before and now it's all making sense. Like I, some things you've heard it before, but just framing it in a different way, it's like clicks. So we, I think we have to have a challenge every single day. And if we do not create that challenge, this is like exactly his words. If we don't create that challenge for ourselves and make ourselves do something that we don't want to do, then life will do it for us. So it's like we've just innately, we have to go through pain in life and either we can choose it or it's going to come in some other way so like for me I didn't I wasn't forcing myself to do things I didn't want to do so I would I was gaining weight and it was making me feel kind of bad I don't I don't know what I was trying to say really what I wanted to show sorry y'all this is all over the place but this is just me like thinking out loud um really what it dawned on me in the in the gym was that the, the feeling good of doing things I don't want to do is now replacing the feeling good of eating pizza and french fries. That's the sum of it. Like, I get these good feelings now from doing this hard work. Before, I wasn't making myself do things I didn't want to do. It's like, oh, I don't want to get up. Uh, I just want to be lazy today. 
and I wasn't making myself do things that I didn't want to do. And because of that, I need, I, I needed some sort of something to make me feel good, um, internally. And so I think that's why I was choosing pizza and french fries because we, you know, it's always like, oh, have a pizza. You deserve it. Have a pizza. You've earned it or have fries. You've earned it. So it feels like a reward. It's that dopamine release. Anything that feels good gives us a dopamine release. And I think we're kind of ingrained to be like, oh, you know what? You've earned this cake today. You've earned this. And so when we just eat cake without earning it, it gives us those good feeling of good feelings. And because I wasn't pushing myself to do the hard work, which would make me feel good, I would use pizza or french fries or food to make me feel good because it's attached to that, you know, reward feeling. Anyway, I just thought of that while I was in the gym and wanted to share with you guys. So everything's just coming together and I'm so excited. And it feels good to like allow myself to want to look a certain way. You know, that's okay. It's natural human nature. And yeah, so anyways. All right, I got to go get to work. Thank you guys for listening. I'm so excited, and I'll talk to you guys later.